Right, we just got back from, uh, it's been a bit of a tough weekend to be honest, a long weekend. Um, been down at um, Boston for February's, qualif um, February's uh, Masters qualifier. Um, we actually stayed down Saturday night and then we went straight on to Larford from there. Um, so we've been away all weekend, so yeah, it's been uh, it's been a long weekend. But um, the match went alright Saturday, it went alright. It's a bit strange going into a, a match like that where you know you've already qualified because it changes everything, it changes the way you fish. You know, I do anyway, I feel as though you tend to want to try and chase the win, basically. You know, you've already qualified. And especially if you're drawing a, uh, in, a, in, a, in a an area that's not so good, it it kind of, it feels a little bit, uh, it's a little bit flat really, just having to fish for your section. But that's exactly what happened. Um, the, the lake had been up during the week, with, with all the extra rain we've had, it had been up about four or five inch, it was really, really coloured. Um, it had dropped a little bit before we got there. It had dropped about a day or two days before, so uh, the level was just about normal. But it, it's really coloured, really coloured, and we expected it fishing hard, and it and it has done to be fair for the for the majority of the sections. Anyway, I've drawn um, the second section along the riverbank, which was peg 29, I think it was. Yeah, 29. Um, we thought it was going to be hard, and it has been. As it turns out, 17 pounds won the section. Um, that was Gaz. Um, he's had a carp in there, five pound, and he's had some skimmers as well. So it just took 17 pound. I've really fished for carp for a good two and a half hours today, just because I just thought, well, I might as well just fish and try and just fish for a couple of carp, or just try and frame. Really, uh, I've done that for two and a half hours, and I'm not caught. I'm not caught anything. I fished at 60 meters. I fished the four meter horizon again. I didn't really need it on that peg today, but uh, sorry, on Saturday, but. I'd heard that the forecast said that it was going to get the wind was going to get up, so I just kind of put it up just to make sure that you know I could still hit that range if the weather turned. I've not had anything for two and a half hours on that line at 60 meters, not a sign. Fished it with a method with pellet and boily, and, and I've just swapped swapped hook baits. Not had a thing, uh, so I've gone onto a cage line just as a backup, just to catch up one or two fish really. That on that peg I chose to fish it at 26 meters, meters slightly to my right, and I've not had a sign on it, not a sign on the cage, but I can't believe it, I fished a cage feeder with single maggot, I've not had a sign on it until an hour and a half from the end. I've had a couple of tiny indications which has signal one or two fish have, have arrived. And from that point I've just kind of chased, when they've arrived with an hour to go, I've kind of chased gas. Um, I've, I've just chased him with skimmers and I've finished up with 10 skimmers for 12, 12 pound odd, and I was second in the section with that. Uh, really pleased actually with the last hour, hour and a half, but like I said, the first three, three and a half hours just waste of time. Waste of time. I've not had a sign. I really, really wish. I know I wouldn't have done the match doing, won the match doing this, but I really wish I'd fished another skimmer line, which I've never done at, at Barston. Fished a skimmer line further out at about 50 meters, 60 meters, and just tried to nick off, you know, one or two skimmers in the first half of the match, which would have gone with the, the skimmers that I've caught later on at 26 meters, which I think I think they've come onto that line two reasons I think I think one of them is the time of day which is naturally at this time of year your second second half of the match is going to be generally the best but I also think they've actually come in a little bit onto that line and they've just come onto it a little bit too late if they're on there early on I'm, at, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have gone on to to certainly catch more than 17 pounds to win the section but um, so that's it second in section not a complete disaster I've learned quite a bit as well I've never really fished that section before um, so yeah, the match has been won over on the, the end peg 1, 2, 4 and I think peg 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 2 were second and third. So the fish have obviously been over there. The wind's actually blown over to that bank today which is quite rare, it's quite rare. I mentioned it to Nigel who owns, owns Barston and he said that, you know, I'd mentioned it and Mick Bullard also mentioned it as well. Mick's had a rough day today uh, on Saturday but um, the, it's very rare for the wind to blow over, that, over to that bank. Whether that had any impact as to why those pegs are produced over there 
I don't know, but I mean, 124 is a good peg and it's won lots of matches anyway. £66 has won it. So that's it really. So that was February's qualifier. Hopefully it'll be back to normal by by the uh, by the next qualifier, which is March. We've got a ticket for that, and then that's it. I haven't got any more tickets then really. Uh, I'll just take it month by month really, see what's happening with the other competitions. Um, on the just a quick word about the 26 meter line, I fished it again with a, a 3.3 meter. Um, sorry, the uh, Legend Slim, the new Legend Slim rod, lovely skimmers, soft skimmer rods, um, and I've just fished it with a little cage feeder. Um, uh, quite a wet mix, F1 mix again, and like I say, it's worked a dream. It's worked a dream, but like sadly, it just worked too late on the, in, in the match. But there we go. So uh, something to take on to the next match, and uh, not a complete disaster, like I say. But you know, it's been a good weekend, a tiring weekend. I'm ready for my own bed now. So uh, so that's it. Hopefully, we're reporting from the ma um, March match when hopefully conditions are back to normal, and there might be some court court as well. So we'll see how we go. But thanks again for watching.